younger in the workplace, whatever like that, you're younger, working on yourself. Don't think these older guys aren't targeting you. You know what I'm saying? Doing shit to you for no reason or like all right y'all, so I'm back with another video. Um back with another video. The mic is good, but I really want to jump right into the video, you know what I mean? I wanna get right into it. But basically, what this video is is that body game makes men insecure. I talked about that in the first video for women, but it's time to get on the men's side. So let's get to it. Okay, so body game, this is a good video because it's like I, I got a lot of energy on this because I've had a lot of situations dealing with this, but men being insecure about body game. And let me tell you, first off, there's so many topics on this, but first off, we're going to talk about men sabotaging you. So this is a big deal. Because when you're practicing body game, you know what I'm saying, you get in the games, your body looking crazy, you know what I'm saying, your body looking, uh, you know what I'm saying, your body looking crazy, everything like that, you're going crazy in the gym, you lift the weights, you're creating new highs for yourself, you know what I'm saying, you may have been a low point, but you're creating new highs for your life, you know what I'm saying, you're creating, you're creating good moments for yourself. When you are doing that, people are taking notice. Of course, this is like a self-improvement journey, everybody's on a self-improvement journey, people are learning every day. But people are also noticing your progress. And that's what I want you guys to understand. Do not think that people aren't noticing. And then also understand that people will sabotage you. Um, sabotage in a point to where it's like, if, you know what I'm saying, if they can't join you or if they feel like they can't compete, which you shouldn't be competing in the first place. Do you see this? You shouldn't be competing in the first place. But in a sense of like, if I feel like I can't beat you, we're in competition. So it's like, whether it be on the workplace, whether it be like you may say you might have a pretty girlfriend or whatever like that. You might be just doing your thing. You know what I'm saying? Just living life, doing your thing. People take that as a threat. People take that as a threat, too, because if you are getting the woman of your dreams, if you are having the lifestyle of your dreams, people are looking to that. Because whether if you had a lifestyle, guess what? You can offer that lifestyle to a woman or a family. You know what I'm saying? And that is attractive for people. If you had a lifestyle that was like that, if you if you had a girl, you don't have a lifestyle. People want the girl. It's like, that's what I want you guys to understand. And even times before, it's like people covet what they don't have. And that is a, not a good thing because it's like you are always comparing yourself to somebody who's practicing body game. You know what I'm saying? You're always saying, okay, this guy has muscles. Okay, this guy has this. This guy has this good position. He has everything. Why does he have so much? Why does he have so much? Instead of you working on yourself and looking at other people it's like you're putting that so much attention on the next person causing jealousy causing envy and that's something that you're going to deal with man that's something that is is inevitable you know what i'm saying that's something that's just going to happen you guys got to deal with it and it only gets worse because the more you progress the more you work on yourself the more noticeable it is whether if you're shopping for a new car you know what i'm saying you might like a Benz, you might not like a rolls royce you might like a, a challenger you might like a camaro you know what i'm saying it's just like those things take work to get and it's like a lot of people aren't willing to put that work in and if you are let me say you're working on yourself working on your body people want that you know what i'm saying it's like think about it if you're looking at something in a magazine whether it be like uh, a nice body a nice girl you know what I'm saying, a nice car it's in the magazine because people want that it's attractive it's attraction you know what i'm saying you're like bro i gotta have that I'm, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get that and i want you guys to understand it's like you will be sabotaged you will go through things to where people will tear down your confidence people will um, complain about what you want. They'll complain about your your ideas, your dreams, and they'll make you feel bad about you wanting that thing. You might not even have it, but you just having the dream, you just having the, the motivation, you having the spirit to get it done, is going to cause somebody to feel a type of way because it's almost as if, why are you thinking so big? Why are you doing so much of this? You know what I'm saying? Why are you taking your time doing this? Why are you starting a YouTube channel? Why are you talking? Why are you putting yourself out there? And it's just like, the more successful you become, people start being like, well, why did I not take the time out to, to start that? And it's just like the whole time you were hating on the next person instead of putting that time into yourself. And that's what I'm saying. Men will sabotage you. So for personal experience, I'm going to tell you all a story like basically of, uh, oh, yeah, this is this goes back to Home Depot. You know what I'm saying? I don't work there no more. So I can tell you all the story. But basically, um, when I was at Home Depot, I was a lot younger. You know what I'm saying? I didn't really know about people sabotaging you. I thought everybody was just kind of chilling, you know what I'm saying, minding their business, doing whatever, you know what I'm saying? They got a wife at home, they got kids, whatever like that. You would imagine that they're not really thinking about somebody who's 19 or 18, you know what I'm saying? For But for me, I was practicing body game, I was doing my thing, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was cut, I didn't even know a lot, I was super cut. But 
basically I had a situation to where I had a manager that was just like, I don't know. Like it was, it wasn't like, it was passive aggressive. You know what I'm saying? That was the first time I was dealing with it because I was like, if it was more aggressive, you know what I'm saying? We could have fought, you know what I'm saying? Or we could have like really, um, like, you know what I'm saying? Really got the blows or like really got that out of the way because it's like, if you disrespect me, like more aggressively, I can respond to it. But it was so passive to where I was like, I ain't really catch on to it until I got older. But like, it was just like, I would, like, if I would dress a certain type of way or dress nice, we had to wear an apron or whatever. Like, y'all know the orange apron or whatever like that. We had to do that. But like, if I would like dress up or something like that, it would just kind of be like, because I was doing real estate at the time. It was almost like, what you so dressed up for? You know what I'm saying? Like, who you trying to show out for or whatever like that, right? So it was like, it'd be situations like that. Or like, he would like hire girls. He'd be like, what you think of this girl? What you think of this girl? Or whatever. Like, you like this girl? You like this girl? So he would say that to me. And then go behind my back and talk like mess to the girl, the new girl that he hired. But the girl, I guess, ended up liking me because he talked about me so much. Like he just like kind of downplayed me, like hating on me so bad to the point where it was like the girl like, well, damn. Well, I wonder what he's like because you bring him up every day or like she would tell me like things that they would talk about. I'm like, bro, bro, a manager. Like, why is he even trying to talk to you? You know what I'm saying? You young, you fine shit. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like. He got a whole wife, kids, or whatever like that thing, situation. But it was just like one of the things I noticed is like it was like no much power he had, no matter how much influence he had, no matter how no matter how many awards he would get, it was like he would always just see, oh, you know what I'm saying? Why are you 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 so swole? How do you get so your your muscles so big? Like, you know what I'm saying? How you you know what I'm saying? You looking good, you doing I'm thinking his praise the whole time he tearing me down because he feeling a type of way. You know what I'm saying? It was like, or he would like um, I wouldn't tell the girls that I like, but you know what I'm saying? He would talk to me and he would ask them if they was talking to me. And it was just like, bro, why are you coming behind me? You know what I'm saying? I'm just chilling. You know what I'm saying? I'm just working. Mind you, we ain't making no money. Like, I was survive- I was basically surviving off of four for fours to be for real. You know what I'm saying? The four for fours, I might be able to get a, a strawberry milkshake or chocolate milkshake if that, like a little frosty. I might be able to get that because it was just like they paid us so low. But it was just like that really taught me, like, as I got older, it's like people will covet something that comes natural to you, something you're born with, and they still won't be happy with the successes they have in their life. You know what I'm saying? They still be coveting your life. And it's like, people, you got to understand, people envy youth. They sabotage you because of how young you are. You know what I'm saying? Because you have so much life ahead of you. And it's like, I wasn't even thinking like that because I'm like, bro, you're making so much money. Um, What a nice catch. You you have so much going for yourself. You got, you know what I'm saying? You're able to get the car you like. You know what I'm saying? Talk to, you know what I'm saying? Go to clubs and stuff like that. I'm like, yo, like, you good? You know what I'm saying? Not looking into him as a big brother, but like, more as an influence. Like, you know what I'm saying? You moving up, you doing your thing. And it's like, I had a rest. Like, people, some people are just never happy. Like, some people just, they're always looking into things that they don't have. And they will tear you down in the process. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mind you, I can't control this. You know what I'm saying? He could fire me, like, make it harder for me to, you know, do my job, which he did. But it was just like, I just didn't realize I was that much of a threat. You know what I'm like, that's what I want you guys to understand. If you are, you know what I'm saying, you won't be sabotaged. You know what I'm saying? If you're younger in the workplace, whatever like that, you're younger, working on yourself, don't think these older guys aren't targeting you. You know what I'm saying? Doing shit to you for no reason or, like, coming at you. You know what I'm saying? Or just trying to talk to girls behind you. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it, it's just crazy. It's just like, why would you even feel the need to do that, you know what I'm saying, you can talk to the women, like, your own age, or you can talk, but it's just the fact that, like, they want things that you want, or they want things that you have, or they want things that you're interested in, and that becomes more attractive to them, to the things that may be even better, you know what I'm saying, they may be, they may have bigger opportunities, but they'll see you, and then it just reminds them how, when they were younger, it reminds them of, you know what I'm saying, how their life was before, and it's like, with age, you don't get your young years back. You know what I'm saying? You got to take advantage of, like, your life and everything like that. And I understand that now. But I just want you guys to understand, like, oh, you know what I'm saying? I, I want you guys to understand that body game. And with, with great responsibility, I mean, well, kind of like with great influence comes great responsibility, I would say. Like, you know what I'm saying? When you are practicing body games, you do in, you influence others. Because it was just like another thing, too. I was working on my body, you know what I'm saying? It was like, I'm so fat and stuff like that. I'm like, bro. 
want to, if you want muscles, like do what I did. But it was just like, I would try to help him and that, it still didn't work. And I'm like, bro, damn, like, what am I supposed to do? You feel me? Like, you are, you being insecure, you're older, you know what I'm saying? But that, that's your life. You know what I'm saying? You can't stop my life because you already lived yours. Like, you have things that you probably did that I haven't done, but I still have, that's what I'm saying. I started to understand people will be jealous of the fact that, like, you had opportunities to make better decisions or you had, you had an opportunity to start a business. You had an opportunity to like start fresh. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't have a family. I didn't have kids and all that. So it was just wild to me. You know what I'm saying? Cause it was like, it, he really made my job harder because of the influence I have for body game. And it's like for me working on myself, working on my body, but that had nothing to do with him. That was something I was going to do regardless. That's just me. That's just how my life was set up because I love the gym. I loved working out. I love, doing my thing, you know what I'm saying, so it was just like, it was crazy the fact that, like, I was, I was dealing with that shit, like, mind you, I'm like 18, 19, I don't know what the fuck going on for real, like, I don't really know these people, I'm trying to, like, find my way, and upon that, I'm dealing with, like, a final boss trying to cut me down, you know what I'm saying, trying to do things to sabotage what I got going on, sabotage the, mo the little emotion I did have, he trying to, like, be the sun and dry that shit up, you know what I'm saying, or just kind of, like, really cut me down to size and mind you bro like 30 something like bro like 30 something mind you i was like 18 or something and i'm like you really gonna do this you know what i'm saying mind you we the same you know what I'm saying same race everything like that and that's why i started to realize when i got older i was like bro it was nothing i could do to make this person be respectful it was nothing i could do to make this person realize he didn't have to covet what I had. It was nothing I could do to make this person uh, just be comfortable in their own skin. So that's like, after that shit, I stopped trying. I was like, not at the job, but it was like, I stopped trying to be a friend of somebody who didn't want to be a friend of me. Or I stopped trying to be like, you know what I'm saying, giving, like, being so respectful and everything like that. Because it's like, bro, bro is really sabotaging me. You know what I'm saying? Really, like, trying to overlook me on purpose. But it's like, when stuff is for you, Nobody can take that away from you. That's what I want you guys to understand. It was like, it was things that was happening to me. It was good. And it was like, it was like customers would come in. It was like, they would give me praise and everything like that. And it was like, they were just like, people would gravitate towards my energy just because like I was being myself. I was doing my thing. And that's what I was known for. It was like body game. I was just known for like, you know what I'm saying? A swole guy. You know what I'm saying? With that, it's like, what the fuck are they doing by my car? What the fuck? Um, but yeah, that's I was just doing my thing, and I just want you guys to understand: people are noticing, people are taking notes on you, or trying to—they're studying you. And that's why I'm, I was—I was like, I was learning. I was like, bro, I'm young, bro. But just because you young, don't mean you don't have an influence, or just because you young, don't mean you don't have an impact, or just because you young, it don't matter. Like people are influenced by you. People are seeing what you're doing, and they want to do exactly what you're doing right now at a young age. It's people who are understand this. This is people, it's people out there 16 in high school. It's like, it's adults copying their style. It's adults copying they, how they do stuff. They flow. And I said, that's just the gift that they have. It's like a gift of influence, but understand that. I want you guys to realize that. And I don't want you guys to feel the type of way if that's happening to you because it's going to happen. Ooh, shit. It's going to happen. And I want you guys to understand there's nothing wrong with that. You're being, a, you're being the best version of yourself and you're working on yourself. You're doing your grind. And that's how it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? If you if you're successful like that, that's a good sign. That means you you grinding. You know what I'm saying? You working and stay that way. Don't let anybody sabotage you. Don't make anybody if they are sabotaging you, let them do it. And it's just like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna have something better, something better for me. You know what I'm saying? Everything like that. So that's the end of the video. That's really what I want. It's really like the story I had. You know what I'm saying? That I was thinking about that I still think about to this day. And it's like I've you know grown from that and I learned from it. But it's like it's it's just like people don't explain that, people don't talk about that because they felt that way or they don't understand it. So that's why that's why I'm here for. And that's why I want you guys to subscribe. So I'll be back with more videos, but like it's real, bro. It's real. And people will gas like you, but it's it's real. So that's the interview. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much. I'm out.